Have you ever wondered about the intricate dance of the ocean currents and the role they play in our world? If so, you're in the right place. Today we unravel the mysteries of the ocean currents with a particular focus on the Atlantic Meridional Overturning Circulation, or the AMOC, and its pivotal role in our planet's climate system. The vast ocean is not merely a body of water, it's alive, constantly moving in a rhythm set by nature. This movement, known as ocean currents, is driven by a variety of factors including the sun, moon, wind and changes in temperature and saltiness. Among these currents, there's a slow, influential player, the thermohaline circulation. This process involves the movement of water from the surface to the sea floor, driven by differences in temperature and salinity, forming the backbone of the global conveyor belt. Now, let's delve deeper into the Atlantic Meridional Overturning Circulation, or the AMOC. This significant component of the global conveyor belt circulates water from the north to the south and back within the Atlantic Ocean. It's a crucial element of our planet's climate system, distributing warmth and nutrients necessary to sustain marine life. The AMOC operates on a cycle that begins with warm surface water moving towards the poles, like the Gulf Stream in the North Atlantic. As this water cools and forms sea ice, salt is left behind, making the remaining water denser. This dense, salty water sinks and travels southwards in the ocean's depths. Eventually, it gets pulled back up towards the surface in a process called upwelling, warming up again and completing the cycle. This entire cycle, from start to finish, is no quick affair. It takes about 1,000 years for a cubic meter of water to complete its journey along the global conveyor belt. But here's a concern. There's evidence suggesting that the AMOC is slowing down further. Scientists funded by the NOAA are researching this potential slowing, its impact on coastal sea levels, and its relationship to extreme events. A burning question arises. With our climate changing, could the AMOC slow down or even stop completely? While it's uncertain, research indicates that the AMOC has been weakening over the past century. If it continues to slow, the impacts on our climate could be far-reaching. For instance, the warming of our planet could shift the rain belt in South Africa due to fresh water from melting polar ice, causing droughts for millions. It could also cause sea levels to rise across the U.S. east coast. In summary, the ocean currents, particularly the AMOC, play a crucial role in our world, affecting not only our climate, but also marine life. The potential slowing down of the AMOC could have significant impacts, from shifting rainfall patterns to influencing sea levels. As we continue to understand this complex system, it serves as a reminder of the intricate and delicate balance of our natural world.